Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joe with Lake Erie Golf Cars and we're going to be looking at the newest 2023 EasyGo RXV with an EX1 gas engine. When you're looking at the RXV as a whole, you may not notice a lot of the differences off the start. Some of these subtle differences in the front. Another thing that's new on this model is the next gen gas and braking system. It's uh, not like your traditional golf car. If you take a look at it, if you take a look at it, the design is, is more closer to what you would see on a car. Uh, traditionally, your golf cars came from the bottom, up for the top, and, and a real tight, tight feel to it when you press these pedals. These are more reactive and they feel more intuitive like you were driving a car or something. So it gives it a nice, a nice look to it uh, and a nice feel to it and kind of changes the ride. You also notice over here, there is no choke. That's because you don't need to choke these anymore. They've done a good job with these EX1 engines and how efficient they are. So when you're starting up, you're just gonna hit the gas once, twice, and gone. Simple as that. No more choking, no more pulling that, no more flooding it, no more guesswork. It's that easy. Gonna we'll turn it on real fast. Look at the feet down here. Now it's more set up like a car is raised. Soft pedal action. You can probably tighten it up depending on, on what, what you want, but it's not the slam it down and you just like lock up your brakes and slide it anymore. It has more give to it, more play to it. And you're gonna notice on the startup, that there's no choke, so it's not gonna have any reason to choke it. This is a very strong and capable engine. So when you hit the gas, you're gonna go. And then it idles down nice. It gives you a nice smooth ride slowly governing back up to the speed it needs to be. Very quiet. Stop at the brakes. Gives you more of a pressurized feel for the brakes. You can still lock it up and get that stop if you need to. But when you're on the go, slowly applying to the brake, it's gonna help you out. And once again, it's just a one push start. Go. Some nice steering to it. You don't get a lot of slide. That's a good grip. If you want to, you know, if you want to have a little fun, you can still lock up the brakes. It's just not like it used to be. When you hit the gas, it's got a nice pickup at the start. Now it doesn't stay there. It doesn't stay at that speed, but it feels like you're gonna you're gonna start to accelerate and accelerate, but then you know that governor kicks in. So we're gonna look at the uh, the console and how they have it designed. They know everybody has a cell phone, so they've now given you know a, an extra space here for storage for your cell phone. It has this nice flip. It's gonna prevent stuff from sliding out as you're hitting these bumps. And if you see, you know, see my finger, you know, there's a good lip down there that's going to prevent uh, even the biggest bumps. Now, for some of you more adventurous drivers that don't look where you're going, maybe it'll pop out. But the reality is, this is this is a very good idea for them to have to embrace technology and to just add it into making uh, uh, making life a little bit easier on you. Um, now, let's say you wanted to have something where you can see it. They also have this ledge here that you can put some sort of a tablet or cell phone into as well, in case you're looking at something, watching something, or whatever the case may be, with an extra little slide here for any of your charging cords or whatever, um, whatever you may need. There's also inserts that they have for this, uh, uh, specifically, that you can put your cell phone and mount into. And then and another good thing about it is, is having this open space in the middle 
it's going to allow you to use uh, different types of cups that you may have, or thermoses, or Yetis, or whatever you drink out of. This may be able to fit where it may not in some of these other ones if it's, if it's not round. If it's one of those odd shapes, you have options there. 